seeking Allah's help. During times of trouble, understanding trials and blessings. In our lives, moments of joy and prosperity often interweave with threads of hardship and sorrow. For believers, these fluctuations are not mere accidents of fate, but deliberate trials and blessings from Allah, each carrying profound lessons and opportunities for spiritual growth. When faced with life's inevitable challenges, seeking Allah's help becomes an act of faith, a testament to our trust in His wisdom and mercy. Understanding why Allah allows both trials and triumphs in our lives can deepen our connection to Him and guide us towards a path of patience, gratitude, and unwavering reliance on His divine support. Seeking Allah's help during times of trouble is a central aspect of Islamic faith and spirituality. It is during these challenging moments that a believer's reliance on Allah becomes most profound. In Islam, life's trials and tribulations are seen as opportunities for growth, purification, and a means to strengthen one's faith. These hardships are not random, but are a part of Allah's divine wisdom and plan. One of the reasons Allah brings troubles into our lives is to test our faith and resilience. The Quran mentions, And we will surely test you with something of fear and hunger, and a loss of wealth and lives and fruits, but give good tidings to the patient. Quran 2.155 These tests are designed to show how we respond to adversity, whether we remain patient, continue to trust in Allah, and seek His guidance. Through these trials, believers can purify their hearts, correct their intentions, and realign their priorities towards the worship of Allah. Another significant reason for the presence of difficulties is to remind us of our dependence on Allah. In times of ease and prosperity, it is easy to forget the source of all blessings. Difficulties serve as a reminder that we are not self-sufficient and that true help and relief come only from Allah. Turning to Him in prayer and supplication during hardships deepens our connection with Him and reinforces our understanding that everything happens according to His will. On the other hand, Allah also brings prosperity and happiness into people's lives. These blessings are tests of a different kind. Prosperity can test a person's gratitude, humility, and responsibility. Allah states, And as for man, when his Lord tries him, and thus is generous to him and favors him, he says, My Lord has honored me. But when he tries him and restricts his provision, he says, My Lord has humiliated me. Quran 89-15-16 Through this, it becomes clear that both ease and difficulty are tests from Allah. The distribution of prosperity and happiness is not arbitrary. It is part of Allah's wisdom and plan. Some people are blessed with wealth and success to see if they will use their resources in the way of Allah by helping others, being charitable, and using their means to promote good. Others might experience less material wealth but possess other forms of prosperity, such as strong faith, good health, normal and healthy children, or a supportive family. In both circumstances of hardship and prosperity, the key is to remain steadfast in faith. In hardship, it means being patient and turning to Allah for help, knowing that He hears and responds to the prayers of those in distress. In times of prosperity, it means being grateful, using one's blessings responsibly, and remembering that these too are a form of test. Ultimately, the variations in life's circumstances are part of Allah's divine wisdom, a tapestry woven with threads of trials and triumphs that we may not fully understand but are always intended for our ultimate benefit. Whether in this world or the hereafter, every experience is designed to refine our faith and character. By seeking Allah's help during troubles and remaining grateful during times of ease, we fulfill our role as believers, embracing His wisdom and submitting to His will. This balanced approach ensures that, regardless of external circumstances, our inner state remains one of unwavering faith, trust, and reliance on Allah. Seeking Allah's help, known as istiana in Arabic, is a cornerstone of Islamic faith and practice.
Here are several ways to seek Allah's help. Salah, prayer, dua, supplication, Quran recitation and reflection, patience and perseverance, sabar, istikhara, guidance prayer, seeking forgiveness, istighfar, maintaining taqwa, God consciousness, and expressing shukr, gratitude. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can strengthen your relationship with Allah and consistently seek His help and guidance, navigating life's journey with faith and resilience.